Hello, welcome to this video of Azure Defender for IoT. In this video, we will cover the overview for reporting and attack vectoring. My name is René Delby and I am a specialist for IoT security at Microsoft. So what is it if we are talking about DM? DM stands for data mining and data mining is the place where all the relevant collected information is stored and it basically reflects the baseline. So the baseline is the normal behavior of your devices in the network. And another important topic I'd like to cover is AV. AV, it doesn't stand for antivirus. In our case, it stands for attack vector simulation. And this offers you the feature to visualize how devices can be compromised. We like to say the simulation of a penetration test. And when should you use those two features? One option could be when you like to review all the collected data. And then in the next step, you might like to create custom reports based on what was collected and what exists in the data mine. And of course, attack vector simulations will be used if you want to, to simulate those penetration tests, to simulate the attack vectors that theoretically do exist. What are the benefits? The data mining and the reports behind will give you rich and custom reports to improve your productivity. You can visualize all the collected traffic information. And the AV will help you to identify security gaps in the network and improve the overall security status. So let's jump to a quick live demo. First, we start with the reports. So in the reports option, you have some auto-generated reports, which are here by default. Like for example, you can see all the remote access attempts and successful connections that were discovered in the network traffic. You see the server, the client, by which application, was the remote connection established? Was it remote desktop, TView, or VNC, etc., including timestamps and so on? And then we jump to the data mining because if we see there is also custom reports, so let's create one of those custom reports. I have prepared a special report from the data mining that shows all the passwords that were used in my demo environment here. How to create those custom reports, we will cover in the video later on. And to make any of those special reports out of data mining, a report that can be accessed by any user of your environment that has access to the Azure Defender for IoT interface, the only thing you need to do is to check mark this pin here which will allow the access for any user role to access those custom reports, in this case, the passwords. So you can have all the information here. And from there, you can then also export those reports as a PDF, which looks like this, and into an Excel file as well. So let's talk about attack vectors. So on the map view, you see all the devices that were discovered. You can see how are they communicating. The more you zoom in, the more details you get from any Purdue layer, like this device here, for example, the engineering workstation, you see to which other devices it is communicating. And if you have a closer look, you can already see that this device is also talking to the cloud. So there is an active internet connection from that device. So from the map view, you can already see that 
maybe there is some space for security improvement. But let's use our attack vector simulation to verify if there's already uh, a way to compromise devices in your environment because of this. So we go here and then we have created a simulation. In this simulation, we just say show the simulation um, outcome in the device map and run it against all sources and all target devices. So I say update. It will only take a few seconds. And again, it's completely passive. We will not touch your devices. And what we see here is we already get 10 vectors that were detected. This actually here is a very quick vector. So this device here has an active internet connection. And in combination to this, we have a PLC here where we have discovered a vulnerability with this CVE number. We also give you a quick overview what would be possible. There could be a code that could be um, executed to um, implement a Trojan horse update image, for example. And there are plenty other ways how to compromise other devices in this environment. Again, here is another vulnerability. So you can already see from this list where do you have space to improve the security? What can you do? What is a possible next step? Can you update the PLC? If not, what else can you do? Keep on monitoring it for sure. But maybe you can also work with micro segmentation to isolate the device uh, from um, other environments to make it more secure. On top of this, we can also switch back to the map, scroll down here, and have a look at the simulations here. So if we say highlight the outcome here, we can also mark all the devices that were part of this attack vector simulation. Then we zoom in, get more details about which type of device is it, to which other devices are they communicating, to visualize the attack vector path, and all other devices that could be possibly um, compromised as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video about reporting and the attack vector deliverables.